nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen Well, it is still dark We stopped while it was dark And it is still dark this morning But we gotta get out of here we got us our uh, cup of coffee. We just finished filling out the logbook. So, let's put her in gear. In winter time I always do a little bit of a backup. Just to make sure that the brakes uh, are all loose. And the reason why I do that is uh, sometimes if the brakes are frozen when you back up, they break free easier than if you just try trying to drive forward, right? So that's the reason why I do that. Oh man. Let's get out of here and uh, get back on the road and make our way down to Edmonton. We got 740 kilometers to go to Edmonton. So, uh, not that hard to get there in 740 kilometers so should be about eight hours eight hours worth of driving and then we'll be in Edmonton so it's 9 uh, 9 15 right now and we are leaving this SO truck stop up here get out of here and uh, get some miles behind us and I'll try and show you some more stuff when it's daylight. Alrighty guys look at this we are still cruising along here in the Rockies a little bit uh, it's not as big mountains as we got up there towards Golden and that but I kind of in a way like it a little bit better but I just wanted to show you this little beautiful river here to the right and to the left we got the Rockies and it seems like it's starting to snow a little bit right now but the road seems to feel pretty good right now still so yeah I just wanted to show you this here for a little bit but anyways we're just going to put the hammer down and see uh, how fast we can get to Edmonton right that's the plan anyways but but they are calling for a little bit of snow up here throughout this uh, mountain region here so we're going to try and get uh, out of here as soon as we can, right? Because we don't want to get snowed in. Anyways, we'll be right back, y'all. Alrighty, guys, here we are. We are going up on a hill somehow. Yeah, we're just going to try and see if we can make it up this hill. It seems like it's a pretty steep hill. So far, we're, we're making it. But yeah, it's been snowing here uh, for a while now. And I finally managed to pass a couple of trucks here. Well, one, one pulled off and the other one I just managed to pass when uh, we started going uphill here. So, yeah, we're only doing about 64 kilometers an hour right now. So, that's about 41 miles an hour. Yeah, it looks like we're just coming up to the top of it right now. Yeah, looks like we made it. Looks like we made it. That's good. There we go. Now we're starting to get faster. That's good. At least we didn't spin. At least that highway is not slippery enough to uh, spin us out, right? But now we gotta go down. They always say what comes up must go down. <laughs> that's the expression that I've always heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but hey, here we are. We're still. A Still in the full blast of mountains, that's for sure. Yeah, everything is really white up here. That's that is very true. Very true. Wow, that's a long way down over there too. So we're not gonna try and go too fast around these corners, you know. Because we don't want to end up in the bottom of that mountain over there, you know. 
that would not be a pretty sight, I think. At least not for me. Oh, maybe I wouldn't see the sight anymore if I'm down there. I probably would never see. You would never see me again, probably. That's just the truth. I'd probably be dead. <laughs> yeah, oh well. We all gotta come to an end too, right? But that would be a worse worst way possible to go about it, right? I don't even want to picture that. Anyways, let's talk about something else. Have you guys enjoyed my ride today? That's a question I should ask. If you have, or if you haven't, hey, there's a comment section down there below where you can leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my videos, you know? Or if you liked any particular part of the video, you know? Maybe you like to see something different or maybe you in particular liked something I did or or whatever, right? So you got the chain off area up here, right? Looks like that guy, oh yeah, he's gonna put up chains. He must have been, uh, he must have been spinning going up this hill. So he's gonna put on tire chains that look like he disconnected from his trailer and uh, he's putting up tire chains to go up that hill. But it is a fairly steep hill, eh? So, uh, you gotta take it easy, and uh, it looked like he was empty too, so... And some of you might have a question, have I ever put tire chains on? And the answer to that is no, I have never. In the entire life of my history of driving, I have never ever put tire chains on. I do have them, but I've never ever put them on yet never come to a point yet where I had to put them on and I'm very happy about that because well some people might think it's scary to put tire chains on but I don't look at it that way I wouldn't probably have a problem putting them on it would probably take me a little while to figure out how to do it but I've looked a few videos on YouTube and stuff like that on how to do it and so I have a good idea on how to do it I've never actually done it, so uh, I would uh, once I would have to do that, I'd probably have to learn myself on how to do it. But uh, I looked it up, and there's a way to do it. Put them on, and they actually have some uh, special uh, bungee cords you can put on them. Like once you put the chains on, like on the outside of the tire, you put a bungee cord to uh, hold the uh, chains uh, a little tighter. So that makes it a little easier, you know, but uh, yeah, that's uh, something I've never done and I hope I never have to, I, you know, I mean if I have to, I obviously have to, but I really honestly hope I never have to, you know, I mean, uh, I guess tires can do a big difference too if you have good tires, you know, I guess uh, well, in some instance, up here in the mountains, they just, you know, when it gets to a certain uh, slipperiness or whatever, I guess the DOT inspects the road, and uh, when they tell you to put on chains, you have to. You have no choice. You can't even give it a try. If you do, if you uh, spin out, you get caught. Up here in Vancouver, or, or not Vancouver, but up here in the mountains uh, in BC, I've heard that's a thousand dollar fine. So, uh... I wouldn't attempt to do that, you know. But anyways, we definitely have gotten some snow up here, that's for sure. As you can see, you can't even see really where where the highway is supposed to be or where the lines are, right? That's right. You just gotta kind of take a look at the highway and see where you wanna be. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. There's a few spots here and there where I can actually see the yellow line there, but other than that, it's pretty much as you drive where you feel like the road is. <laughs> but this is Canadian winter driving, man. You just gotta use common sense, and when you come into a corner, you slow down. You don't uh, you don't use your cruise when it's icy and slippery like this. You just drive with your foot and if you have a really strong engine brake don't use it because that can get you jackknife real fast too right but it is a gorgeous scenery up here and I know uh, after I met up with JP he uh, 
he's been uh, in close contact with me and uh, he, uh, he even told me, he says, get a lot of footage of this area because it's a beautiful area. And I agree, I mean, look at this. It is absolutely gorgeous. You know, is it the best, you know, best area to drive in? No, probably not. But it's an absolutely gorgeous area to videotape something in, right? <laughs> but anyways, we'll continue on with our journey and see what else we'll be able to show you. guys these guys just wanted to make sure that my uh, license plate was clean and that the tail lights were clean they were talking about the front license plate so that way they can uh, actually uh, see it you know so uh, that's pretty much all they wanted to talk to me about they went and looked at my tail lights and tail lights were clear so that was good. They just asked me to clean the uh, license plate there on the front so that they could read it. And sure enough it was all covered in snow so we cleaned it up and everything was good. They said, they said you can go, no problem. So I made sure that I went to the back and I cleaned my lights. and. Well, they were very visible, so there was not that much snow on there. I just wanted to make sure I go double check it and clean everything real nice. It'll make them happy, right? And here we are. Gonna get out of here. Speed warning. Yeah, at least they put lots of salt on over here, it looks like, so get up these hills. So let's put the hammer down and let's get towards uh, Edmonton. I don't know if you guys saw it earlier, but there was uh, a lot of snow. It was snowing pretty bad there earlier for a good while, so uh, that's why everything was covered in snow and ice, you know. So anyways, let's make our way down to Edmonton. Well guys, it looks like we are slow but surely starting to get into better road conditions well the roads are pretty good up here for sure right now and it also looks like we're starting to get out of the mountainous area yeah we are in Alberta now we crossed into Alberta here probably about half an hour ago we will probably be out of the big Rockies here pretty soon. Wouldn't surprise me, probably maybe in another hour. Maybe two, I don't think so, but probably another hour and we'll be out of the big Rocky Mountains. So I guess uh, enjoy it while you can. 
because it is a beautiful scenery up here that's for sure there is a couple of resorts just uh, I just went by them and they uh, got a lot of skiing areas up there and I guess beautiful sceneries and stuff like that up there and yeah a lot of tourists go up there all the time it looks like but anyways nice wide open dry road now so we're putting the hammer down as fast as we can anyway so I don't know why they got 90 speed limit up here it should be 100 in my opinion this is nice open road they had a 100 speed limit up in British Columbia 90 speed limit up here oh well we're gonna follow the rule anyways no matter what yeah Looks like that side there, the sun is hitting it more than that one, the mountains over there. So, uh, it looks like there's less snow over there than there is over there. <laughs> That's what it looks like, but we might be going in between these Rockies here somewhere. That's what it looks like. Not sure which way the highway is going to go, but almost looks like it's going to cut towards that way there. So. We might be going in between these big Rockies up here. Just absolutely breathtaking, isn't it? I think so. Yeah! Guys, we gotta be careful. We got some roadkill up here. Looks like an elk or something like that. Look at that. I'm going by him real slow. I don't want to kill him, right? There we go. Wow! That's what I was trying to film earlier already, but then uh, there was none out there, so uh, you gotta be careful for these things out here because they're right here on the road. <laughs> there was a few of them up there on the side of the road there, but uh, my camera didn't turn on on time there, and luckily there was one here sitting right in the street. <laughs> yeah, we still got them on camera, right? That's all that matters. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Let's put the hammer down and let's go. It looks like we are starting to come into the Edmonton region. We're not quite there yet, but uh, we are getting closer. That is very true. Looks like we got about 41 kilometers to our terminal. And so, you know, we don't have that much further to go and we'll be in, uh, I guess, in the city limits of Edmonton. But the sun is starting to disappear again. So I'll be losing daylight here very soon. So I figured, well, get me one more video clip in here before the day is, uh, well, the sun goes down anyways. It's kind of hard to film at night for me anyways. I don't really like like it too much filming at night. It's kind of hard to see everything and just makes it more challenging I guess. But Oh well. At least we will be able to show you whatever we can throw today I suppose. Now there are some situations or some instances where you could film at night and it might look alright but for the most part you're just driving down a dark road and all you can see is what the light shines on the head of you and yeah to me that doesn't really make it too interesting so anyways we're just going to do a trailer switch up here at the terminal and uh, we will continue on though we're going to try and make it up to uh, Lloyd Minister tonight and uh, we'll park there and then from there we'll try and make it home tomorrow night that's the plan anyways we'll see if that will happen but that's our plan so let's get down over to the terminal and do all of that and then uh, we'll see if we'll be able to show you anything else yet today alrighty guys we are in Lloyd Minister that's right and that is basically at the border of Saskatchewan and Alberta. Yeah, that's right. And 
it looks like I don't know if you can be able to see it but down there there's actually a bunch of parking spot open yet right here beside me there's a spot open there too so you can start to tell it's getting really close to Christmas because generally these places here they are pretty packed you know especially at this time of the night already you know so we are done too we've had a very big day today well not the biggest day ever but uh, we obviously have had a hard working day going through all the mountains up there with that snow and all that stuff and driving and all that stuff and then we did our trailer switch filled up and still got some good miles up to here so we got bigger miles yet to do tomorrow so we better go to bed and get some good night rest and get in those miles to go home tomorrow so uh, yeah I'm suspecting that I'll be home tomorrow night and then we'll see what we'll do from there I'm sort of thinking about maybe doing another short trip because I do have roll hour hours back coming back to me you know every single day so I added them up already and I have another 29 hours for the rest of three days you know coming back to me so I might just do another short trip I think that might work out okay but we'll see if they actually have something like that for me too, right? I guess it's going to be dependent on that as well. But uh, anyways, we are done for today. So we're going to go to bed and uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and we'll see you again tomorrow. behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down